from a swing right next to the Indian Ocean. And with the sun setting behind the palm trees in the background, this is Josh Friedman coming to you from Zanzibar. I am off the east coast of Africa within the archipelago of Zanzibar that is part of Tanzania. And right now I'm on the main island. I'm on the east coast of the main island, which is called Nguja. And basically, it is strikingly beautiful here. I guess I'll try to turn around on this swing so you get the background of the water rather than just the palm trees and the sunset. Although I wouldn't be... I don't mind. I don't mind having the view of the palm trees and the sunset myself. But yeah, it's just so lovely out here. Anyway... 2018 is really coming to a close in a hurry. Christmas has now passed. New Year's is right around the corner. And while it might be time to reflect on the year that was, I am very much in the mood to look ahead to the year that will be. And I am very excited about 2019. And... That's particularly because of a bit of a lifestyle change and game plan change I have coming into the new year. So even though I've been going by this moniker of the nomadic journalist for a while, maybe like a year or more now, and even though I've been traveling consistently and traveling to 20 or 30 countries a year and traveling for the majority of the year for the past three plus years. Well, despite all that, I I wasn't a full-on nomad. I I had a home. Maybe you should refer to it as a home base, but I I was living in Sofia, Bulgaria, even though I was not spending all that much time there. Or maybe I I wasn't spending that large of a percentage of the, the year there. But nonetheless, I had a home. Well, that's now changed. So, back in November, I packed up my stuff. I moved out of my apartment in Sofia. And I'm now on the road indefinitely. I've got a backpack and a small shoulder athletic type of duffel bag with me. And that's it. And not only do I not have a home at the moment, I don't have any set travel plans. So for the past few years, I've entered the new year with some idea in mind of various trips that I would be taking. In fact, I would usually enter the new year with quite a few flights booked already, but that's not the case this year. I will be entering 2019 with zero flights booked in fact zero accommodation booked nothing's booked it's all up in the air it's all open and i think that attitude of openness and willingness to just ad lib and go with the flow i think that's going to be a major asset for me in 2019 and that's one reason I am very much looking forward to the new year. So for the past three plus years, a lot of my life has revolved around travel and journalism. And that's basically my passion. My my passion, what I love to do in life is to travel and report on major world events. And on the one hand, having the home base in Sofia was a major help, being that Bulgaria is located toward, uh, in a part of the world where I had very easy access through cheap transportation to all kinds of newsworthy events that I could go cover. But at the same time, 
I did feel like having a home was somewhat holding me down or holding me back. And we'll see how this plays out in this coming year, but I'm basically putting all my eggs in the basket of travel and journalism. Those are the things I love doing. And I'm hoping that by completely clearing my calendar and by not having much in the way of obligations I need to meet in specific places or having to be tied down to anywhere, I'm hoping that this is going to free me up to do what I love to do, which is travel and report. We'll see. I, I will have budget constraints. I'm not... <laughs> loaded with cash I'm still going to be doing my usual budget travel routine as I go around the world I'll be starting in East Africa and I'm loosely planning on spending the rest of the European winter or northern hemisphere winter in East Africa right now I'm actually in the southern hemisphere <laughs> is all too convenient. I get to spend December at the beach when it's summer here in gorgeous Zanzibar. Now the sun's really setting. I'm going to wrap this up. But I I think I'm going to hit another couple countries, maybe more, in East Africa. We'll see. I do think that I'll be spending a large chunk of the year in Europe when the weather warms up a little bit but nothing is set in stone and that's the big reason why I am excited about 2019 and I'm hoping that this added freedom and added mobility is going to allow me to produce as much reporting as possible for you and if there's anything you would like me to focus on or cover this year I'm very interested to hear from you please leave a comment in the comments below and i will gladly take any feedback so for now i'm going to call it a wrap as the sun sets here in beautiful zanzibar and i hope to be coming to you very shortly with all kinds of reports goodbye for now from zanzibar